Hi, Hannah. Hi. Welcome to the office. I'm Dr. Samita. Nice, nice to, to see, see you. you. All right, so what is going on for you today? So I wanted to come in because I started experiencing some tingling um, on this side of my face recently. Yeah. Um, it's been, I don't know, maybe like a couple of weeks, two weeks. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I was just kind of concerned about that. Okay, so it's been going on for two weeks. Um, can you point again exactly where you're feeling it? Yeah, it's like it? right here. Okay, all the way up from sort of your temple region mm -hmm. down to your jaw. It sort of like prickles up and down. So when I start feeling it, it usually starts up here and sort of like comes down my face. Okay. All right, so you said it started two weeks ago. Is there any event, any kind of trigger that might have precipitated it? Um, I mean, I don't remember falling or or anything like that. Yeah. So I've just had like a very stressful few weeks because I just got married last mm, weekend. So it was a lot of running around, but I don't remember like hitting myself or anything like that. Okay, so no kind of head injury, no trauma, no accidents of any sorts? Not that I can remember. Okay. Maybe I hit my head really hard, <laughs> I don't know. I'll just say there's, there's nothing here. Okay. So is is this tingling sensation continuous or does it come and go? It comes and goes. Um, I definitely feel better in the morning when I wake up. I feel like a little bit more refreshed. And then as the day goes on, I start to feel it um, just starting to go. And like by nighttime, it's pretty bad. Okay, so if you can rate it for me in the morning from 1 to 10, 1 being very little sensation, 10 being like the, the most that you've ever experienced, how would you rate it? Probably um, like only a one or two in the morning. Okay. And um, then by evening? By evening, it's like a five or a six. It's pretty uncomfortable. Okay. Um, yeah, it's been it's been prickling, um, sort of like pins and needles. Like it does okay. feel kind of sharp. Yeah. It's not totally numb. It's like tingling. It's like not yeah. so much numbness. You can you still feel sensation. I think so, yeah. I mean, it's definitely harder to feel when I'm experiencing it. Makes but, sense, yeah. Um, it doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like numb per se. It feels more right. like pins and needles. So. And how would you rate that sensation, the intensity of that sensation right now? We're about noon, so... It's like a two or three right two now. Or three. It's not too bad. Okay. But I do feel, I can feel it, especially when I think about it. I feel like I can feel it. That makes sense, yeah. Okay. So... And so you're, it, it's on and off throughout the day. Um, can you tell me kind of the frequency that it comes on and off, or is it hard to say? Yeah, it's kind of random. Some random. days it's worse than others. Um, if I rest and just sort of close my eyes for a while, it, it feels better. Yeah. So I've been trying to do that when it gets really bad, but yeah, I would say it doesn't come and go with any sort of like pattern or frequency, it just sort of whenever sense. All right, so you said it feels better when you're resting, closing your eyes, mm -hmm. or anything else that makes it feel better? Um, yeah, I just rest, and sometimes I'll do like a hot compress as well, and that, that okay. tends to help a little bit. So hot helps. Have you tried cold, like an ice pack or anything? I haven't tried cold, just because I f feel like I've heard from nerve pain that like cold isn't always good, but I don't know. I haven't tried okay. it. Okay. And um, you said nighttime makes it worse. Is there anything else that would make it worse? Um, just I feel like when I'm running around or doing any sort of like physical activity, okay, it feels so exertion. worse. Okay, exertion. Yeah. Physical exertion. Have you noticed any difference when like, um, like you're having a bowel movement and you're having to bear down? Does that make a difference at all? Mm, I don't think so. You can also check that. Um, do you have any other symptoms that go hand in hand with the tingling? I've just been feeling a little bit warm um, lately, and I would say definitely been feeling like a little bit of like fluttering in my chest as well. Okay. Um, tell me more about that fluttering in the chest. Where exactly do you feel it? 
I feel like kind of in the middle here, like it's not quite in my heart, but it sort of feels like in the middle of my yeah, chest. Kind of your sternum, yes. Yeah. Okay, and can you, is that also continuous or on and off? It's on and off. Okay, and it happens around the same time as the tingling or? Yeah, it's not always, um, it happens less than the tingling happens, but it does seem to coincide, yeah. But it doesn't happen, every time I feel tingles, I don't necessarily feel that fluttering. Okay, does it also have this pattern of being better in the morning and worse at night? Mm -hmm. Okay. And can you rate the intensity from 1 to 10 in the morning? Um, in the morning, it's usually like a 0 to 2. It's really not very bad, especially like when I'm laying in bed in the morning, I feel a lot better laying down. Yeah. Um, and then as the day goes on, maybe you can go up to like a 2, 3, 3, 4. It's, okay. not, it's not as bad as the tingling. Okay. 2 to 4 out of 10 in the evening. And how about now? Do you feel that? I don't feel it right now. I don't feel the fluttering right now, okay. Great. Have you had any changes to your vision, like blurred vision, or are you seeing double vision, anything like that? Not that I've noticed. Okay. Have you noticed any drooping of your eyes or any part of your face? I don't think so. Any weakness in your in your face or any part of your body? Um, definitely when it's really tingly, it feels like a, a little harder to make some faces, but I also don't know if that's just in my head because I can, mm. it feels funny. Um, yeah. I haven't noticed like actually not being able to like lift an, an eyebrow or anything. Okay. Yeah. Let's definitely look into that. Any changes with your speech, like slurred speech? No. Do you feel any pain anywhere in your body? Mm. Perhaps in your head? Any headaches? I just will sometimes get like a headache in my temple area. On both sides? Yeah, on both sides. But I only get the tingling on the left side. Okay, so... And then I get a lot of pain like right here as well, like on my right where my neck meets my head. Okay, so can you can you point to that again? Like right here, like this muscle right here. Okay, so kind of upper drops. Anything else about also on both sides, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And how often does this headache occur for you? The headache is probably like every other day, but it's not very long. Like How long? I'll just get it for a couple of minutes here and there, but okay. usually if I get it one, like if I get it in the morning or something, I'll kind of get it all day, a little bit here and there. Okay, so it can actually start in the morning for you? It can, yeah, but um, it's also, that's happened to me longer. Longer? How like, long? Mm, a couple of years, it's been like where, okay. I, get, where I get my tension headaches most okay. of the time. Do you take anything for that? I'll take a ibuprofen or uh, some sort of anti-inflammatory sometimes if it's really bad. And that seems to help? It does, yeah. Okay. All right, but that's not really a, a new occurrence. No, it doesn't. it doesn't coincide with the tingling. It just, it does happen and it has happened since the tingling started. Okay. Any nausea or vomiting? No. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to add to help me get a better picture of your symptoms? Um, I think that's it. I do have some sensitivity to light, but it's not affecting my vision. And does that make the tingling worse? It does, yeah. It does, okay. Mm -hmm. um, bright lights? Sunlight? Uh, more like bright centralized light, like if I look straight at a, a light bulb or, or a, an overhead light or something, it's like, feels a little bit tense and also there's a little bit of um, light, like ref refraction or what we'd call like an astigmatism, with astigmatism, okay. you get like the light spread out, Right. that's kind of how it feels. Spreading out. What did you say your occupation was? Um, I'm a mark in marketing. In marketing. 
it's really the, the planning for the wedding and the stress of all that that's been bringing on these symptoms, you think? Um, I think that could be related just because I've been doing a lot more physical work and running around and a lot of people ask me a lot of questions. When I get stressed, it definitely gets worse, for sure. Right. But I wasn't just sure if that's because it's an issue and then, you know, when I get stressed out, anything is exacerbated. Yeah. I just wasn't sure. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, have you had this happen to you before at all? Yeah, so no, the first never have. Yeah. It was the first time, okay. Well, actually, I used to get it in college a little bit, but it, it was never this bad. Like, it, maybe it would be like a little tingling for a second here and there, but I never had it be consistent. Okay. Was college pretty stressful for you as well? Yeah, I was just really busy because I was yeah. um, in multiple organizations and I was an RA and school and stuff like that. So I just was constantly moving around. I probably wasn't sleeping enough. Mm. And how's your sleep been lately? Not, not the best. Eh. I mean, trying to get um, six hours a night. Six hours a night. What time do you usually go to bed? Uh, recently I've been going to bed after midnight, so 12, okay. 1 o'clock. You'll get up around 6 or 6 to six, 7? 6, 30, yeah. Okay. Any naps during the day? I haven't recently, no. I was taking them before, which was really helpful, but I haven't had time in the last couple of weeks. Makes sense. Okay. All right. So... Do you have any past medical history of any medical conditions I should know about? No, I've been pretty healthy. Okay. What about any family history? Any mm, medical There's conditions? just some diabetes on my maternal side, but other than that, everyone's really healthy. Any heart conditions or stroke? No. Okay. Anything like neurologically related? Mm. My, I had a paternal, on my paternal side there was one person with MS, but okay. um, not super close, it was like a semi, like, great aunt or something. Okay. Yeah. But other than that, no. Okay. Alright. And do you drink alcohol? I don't. No alcohol. Do you smoke? Um, just legally available marijuana. Mm -hmm. How often? Um, daily. Okay. Yeah. Do you find that helps at all with your symptoms? It does, yeah. I feel like it makes it better. Okay. All right, any other medications, recreational drugs, anything? No. Yeah. Okay. Just the ibuprofen as, as needed. Right, right as needed, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll ask a few more questions. I mean, you seem pretty alert and oriented to me, but just, you know, for basic records. What is your name? Hannah. Hannah, good. Um, what, what day is it today? Today is Thursday. Okay, good. And where are you right now? I'm at the doctor's office. Okay, which state are you in? New York. Good. Okay. Why are you here? I'm here for some tingling discomfort in my face. Perfect. All right, and what is this object? Um, it's a pencil. Okay, good. All right, Hannah, so do you have any other questions or concerns? No. Okay, so I'll go ahead and start the physical exam now. Okay. been sick recently at all? Um, I had COVID back in June, okay. but not since then. Okay. And 
and it was June, so it's quite a while ago. It probably doesn't correlate with these tingling symptoms, huh? I don't think so. I've had it before and didn't have this happen. Okay. That's my second time getting it. Alright, so I'm just going to, is this arm okay for yes, a pressure fine. measurement? sort of heart level. Blood pressure is 110 over 72, it's pretty good. Just going to take your pulse here. Close your eyes and wait to inspect your face, okay? So you said no symptoms on this side, right? Also just check around your head. I know you said you didn't have any injuries, but I just want to make sure. So check the muscles back here as well. You said that we were feeling kind of tight. Mm -hmm. Notice any redness. Don't notice any lesions of any kind. inspecting her face to see if there's any lesions, any redness. Just palpate. 
at your eyes. Feels fine, doesn't seem to be swollen or anything. Black little glands and dots. the muscles back here. You're saying they're tense. They do feel quite tense. Yeah, they're very tender. Tender as well. Okay. Any pain when I do this? No, it feels really nice actually. <sighs> Sounds like you're in need of a massage. Let me also just palpate your skull. And you said you didn't have any head injuries, but I just want to check to be safe. Doesn't seem to be any swelling or any soft areas. It all seems firm to touch. Symmetrical. That's good. And then just check to see if there's any lesions up here. Do you have any history of um, shingles? Um, I had the chicken pox when I was a kid. You had the chicken pox, yeah. but no, no shingles. Mm -mm. Okay, well, I don't see any skin lesions that can suggest that. Sounds good. Okay. Let's look on this side here. Let's do some palpation. Does that aggravate the tingling when I press down like that? Yeah, maybe a little. Mm -hmm. On this side? Mm, this side's okay. Totally fine, okay. I'm sorry. Let's push your hair back. Okay. And you said it starts from over here? It tends to actually start up it here and up come here, down into down. the jaw, yeah. Okay. I'm going to palpate some of your lymph nodes while we're here. Palpate these occipital ones. Deeper, turn down. Great. All right, and then I'm just going to palpate the particular ones. She can you just shrug for me. Perfect. Down. And the underarms. Okay, other side. Oh, 
good there. Okay, Hannah, I'm gonna go ahead and listen to your lungs first. So, whenever my stethoscope touches your skin, just take a deep breath in and out, okay? Doing great. Go to the front here. Just underneath. Okay, so now I'm going to listen to your heart. So Turn on this side here, okay? okay. You just breathe normally for this. I'm just going to listen to your arteries on each side. Okay, Hannah, so for the next part of the exam, we're going to be doing a cranial nerve exam. I'll start with checking your eyes. We'll do a Stellan chart test. Okay. I'll have you just stand right over here. Sure. Okay. Give you that. Just cover one of your eyes. Perfect. So I'll have you read the lowest line here, okay, from left to right. P E Z O L C F, T, D. Perfect. Now cover the other eye. And we're going to go backwards. Same line. D, T, F, C, L, O, Z, E, P. Perfect. 2020 vision. Thank you. I'm going to be testing your sense of smell. Go ahead and close your eyes. Let me know what that smells like. Mm, I think it's um, like coffee or chocolate, something like that. It's coffee, yes. Perfect. Now I'm going to be testing your visual fields. So I want you to cover this eye right here. And I want you to focus that eye right on my eye. Mm -hmm. And let me know when you see the wiggling tips of my fingers. I'm just going to wiggle them like this. No. No. 
No. No. No. Great, now we'll switch eyes. No. 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 Perfect. Next, we're doing the H test. I want you to look at the tip of the pen there and just follow it only with your eyes, not with your head, okay? Go slow. Look straight ahead for me. Keep your eyes open. Okay. Okay. And just keep looking straight ahead again. Check your pupillary eyes. Perfect. Close your eyes going to be testing the sensation on your face. I want you to let me know if you feel a dull sensation or a sharp one, okay? Yeah. So this is dull right here. Can you feel that? Yeah. Does that feel dull to you? Mm -hmm. Does that feel sharp to you? Yes. Okay. Dull. Sharp. over here on your side and just test this side a bit more. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. I'm not sure. your eyes closed for me testing light touch um, let me know if you feel so the sensations like this do you feel that I do yeah okay let me know if it feels the same on both sides or different okay okay I'll start on this side feels the same um, it just feels, I do feel a little bit of that tingling mm-hmm one more. Same. Okay. We're going to do a sort of sharp sensation throughout. Do you feel that right there? Mm -hmm. That feels sharp to you? Yes, it does. Okay. Start on the right side here. 
feels the same. Okay, let's do it one more time. Same. Okay. I'll do some vibration sense. So let me first uh, test it right there, just so you know how that feels. Do you feel that? I do. It feels okay. like, like a buzzing. Yeah. Okay, so I'll start on the other side first. Let's start behind your ear. Just keep your eyes closed. Do you feel that? Yes. Does it feel like vibration? Yes. Let me know when you stop feeling it, okay? Stop. Good. How's that? That's better, yeah. Let me know when you stop feeling that sensation. No. Good. How's that? Vibration. Stop. Vibration. Stop. Vibration. Gone. Eyes closed. Stopped. Gone. 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 So now let's move on to um, the seventh cranial nerve, which is the facial nerve. I want you to just follow after me. We're gonna just smile really hard like this with your teeth, good. And then raise your eyebrows like that, great. Let's do that one more time. I'm just gonna test the strength of that. Okay, and then the, show your teeth again for me. Okay, great. Now puff out your cheeks. Okay, good. And now squeeze your eyes shut really tight. Don't let me open them. Great, perfect. Facial strength. Five out of five. Have you had any changes to your hearing at all? Mm, I don't think so. Let's just do a quick test. So for this test, let me know if you hear the sound first on either side or both at the same time. Okay. Okay. Both, same time. Good. Let's turn this side. Do you hear that? Mm-hmm. Let me know when you stop hearing it. Do you hear this? Mm -hmm. I know when you stop hearing it. It's gone. The other side. You hear this? Mm -hmm. I know when you stop hearing it. Gone. Do you hear that? Yeah. You know when it stops? Stop. Perfect. Open up your mouth for me. Say ah. Uh, I'm just going to touch back there and back there. Perfect. Okay. Now stick out your tongue for me as well. I want you to move it from side to side, up and down. I'm just going to inspect it as well, see if there's any fasciculations, atrophy, um, asymmetry. 
Let's just take a look inside and see if there's any... Looks like there's a, a lesion right there. Does that bother you? Um, just when I get stressed, I bite my cheek. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, that's why I've been doing it a lot lately with the stress of the wedding. That makes sense. But it doesn't bother me. It just doesn't... Not a great habit. Okay. Doesn't look like there's any infection, so that's good. Let's look on the other side. Hmm. Seems to be worse on your left side, huh? Yeah. I do that more, like, go like this more. Interesting. So that kind of coincides with the same... It's true, like you're the and tingling. Yeah. Okay. Just make a note of that. Push up into my hands. Very good. Can you just rotate your head? Yeah, perfect. Push into my hand. Good. Other side. Great. Okay. I'll do a few more. So push into my hand this way. Please. Like that? Yeah, you can do that. The other side. Let's do forward as well. Backwards. So now I want you to push your arm up into my hand. One, two, three, four, five. Very strong. Other side. Three, four, five. Great. Now I want you to just from just the um, just at the elbow joint pushing up into my hand. One, two, three, four, five. And then down, same way. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Great. Now your thumb. I'm just going to don't let me move you. Three, four, five. I'm gonna slide my fingers between your fingers, squeeze really tight, um, and try not to let me move my fingers out. Okay. Okay, same thing, push up into my hand. Wow. <laughs> Another way. Good. And then the thumb, don't let me move you. And again, just squeeze really tight, just like that, like kind of. Make sure I don't move. Good. Okay. All right. Let's do some reflexes while we're here. Just try to relax as much as you can. Just like that, good. 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 Great, so I want to also trace the dermatomes, which are just parts of the skin that are innervated by different nerves in your spine. Okay. And I want you to let me know if you feel the same sensation on both sides or different, okay? Okay. Right here. Just lean back. Same. Okay. Same. 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 Perfect. So I'm going to do some hand-eye coordination activities. The next test is the finger-to-nose test. I want you to take your index finger right here and start by pointing at the tip of your nose and then the tip of my finger here, okay? So we'll start with that, keep going. Yeah. 
this. Go back a little bit. And that way. And this way. A little bit higher. Good. And down. Perfect. Okay. Now I want you to start with, we'll start with this side right here and just go like that. Can you go faster? And then switch fingers. Very good. Wonderful. Other side. Good. And then switch. It's wonderful coordination there. And I'll, I also want you to rotate your wrists for me. See if you can rotate a bit faster. Okay, other one. Okay, good. All right, just make some notes about that. So Hannah, the good news is none of these tests are coming back positive for you. Your sensation testing is intact. All your cranial nerves seem to be working just fine. Um, the rest of the neurological tests are coming back just fine as well. Um, I did. There's a few findings that um, confirm that the stress that you've been experiencing have, has been too much for your body, mm -hmm. you know, the, the stress bite inside your your cheek, and also, of course, the tingling as well. I do want to do a few more blood tests just to rule out some other things, like perhaps it could be viral, bacterial, although you don't have a fever, you, none of your lymph nodes are enlarged at the moment. I do want to do those just to rule things out. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. But otherwise, I'm not too concerned. I don't. There aren't any red flags, any emergent conditions that I'm worried about at all. Do you have any questions for me? No, thank you. Okay. I think mostly it is stress. Thankfully, now that the wedding's over, hopefully you're having some more time to rest and relax. A little bit, yeah. Okay. <laughs> honeymoon coming up? No honeymoon, but two other weddings. Okay. For family and friends, yeah. Yeah, just try to take it easy, take good care of yourself, try to get some more sleep if you can. Six hours is not enough, try to get eight hours and try to go to bed a little bit earlier. Okay. Um, and do you have any issues falling asleep at all? Um, no, I, I fall asleep. Okay. okay, and you stay asleep? Yeah, I just don't sleep enough time. Okay, so it's more so a time thing. Try to schedule massage. I, I did notice that your your muscles are pretty tense back there, so getting a nice massage and maybe having them like work on your jaw muscles as well could be really good. Um, yeah. Thank you. I, I don't have an issue with you taking ibuprofen if you absolutely have to, but definitely try not to try not to overdo it. Don't we don't want that to be a regular thing just because there are side effects that come with that too. Okay. Um, but I will have you back in about a week or two. I'll let you know. Um, I'll have my receptionist call you once the blood test results are out. Okay, sounds great. All right, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, Appreciate Dr. it. Okay, take care.